Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds, and it's Thursday, August 4th. Two days ago, Tokyo Electric announced some really high radiation levels on the Fukushima site, and I wanted to put that into perspective, let you know what I think is happening. First off, Tokyo Electric discovered very, very high radiation in a stack, which is used to vent radiation out of the plant and up into the air. The quantity of that radiation was really, really high exposure. It was 10 sieverts, and to convert that over to the um, to REMS, which I'm used to, is uh, is a thousand REM. Now, what does that mean? A thousand REM or more, because the instrument went off scale. A thousand REMS, if you were there for less than half an hour, um, would mean death within a couple days. Uh, those kinds of exposures cause extensive neurological breakdowns uh, that can't be reversed medically. Um, so basically, uh, it's a, to, to be near that for any amount of time beyond a couple of minutes would be a, uh, would be a death sentence. Now, what that means is really interesting. This site has been extensively mapped. Um, there's a map that's current that shows many, many hot spots. This hotspot was not discovered until just a couple days ago. Now, that could mean a couple of things. It could mean really poor health physics and that this was missed for 100 days. I don't think that's the case, but the earlier site maps do not show this high concentration of radioactivity in that area. More likely is that this event happened over time, this radiation built up over time. And uh, that's my theory about how the uh, material um, was deposited. The key is that it occurred in a vent. Now that vent was venting the containment for a period of weeks and months before it was, the radiation was detected. So. You know, when you start your car up in the morning, you'll see water dripping out the end of the exhaust pipe? Well, I think that's what happened at Fukushima. The, the hot, humid gases from inside the containment were going up this stack, and where the gases touched the outside of the stack, they were condensing. Well, it wasn't just hot water and, um, and hot air, but that also contained lots of cesium. So the cesium and the hot water ran down the outside of the pipe and collected at the bottom. So over a period of time, that concentration got higher and higher and higher. It's likely that the first surveys missed it and because it just wasn't as high a radioactive source in comparison to all the other radioactive sources that are there. But over time, the concentration went up and up and up as more and more and more water containing cesium came down. Now, it's important to remember that this lethal amount of radiation was found on site, not off site, so that's good. But the other piece of that is it was found in a stack, air was being pulled over that and up and exhausted into the air for a long period of time. I think it really speaks to how much radiation was released over the last um, 140 days and that this is just a small portion of what was released to the environment. There's another competing theory, and some people think it was blown into that location in the, during the explosion in the first week. Again, either the health physics practices and measuring that on site uh, were really, really poor, or it wasn't there in the first week and has gradually built up over time. Tokyo Electric has found high radiation in the ground in that vicinity and, and uh, all around the plant, and in fact has bulldozed some of it under so that workers could, uh, could access some of these, um, these areas. What that means is we're going to continue to see over the next 10 years spikes in radiation on site. First, as, as pieces that were bulldozed actually come to the surface in the excavations. There will continue to be these uh, enormous radioactive sources that are on Earth. And second, when they get into these buildings to actually try to dismantle the plant, they're going to find even higher radiation levels than this one. 
Remember, at the bottom of the nuclear reactor, the nuclear core has leaked out and is now lying like a pancake on the concrete floor, working its way down, but probably not through the concrete. Now, that is even much more radioactive than this. That's why it's going to take Tokyo Electric 10 or 20 years to clean up. This is not something you send somebody in with shovels to shovel the floor. This is going to have to be done robotically, and it's going to take a long, long time. I'll keep you informed as more develops. One last thing, I wanted to say I made a mistake in the last video at the University of Vermont. It's Finland that has the waste repository. In my presentation, I said Sweden. Uh, my apologies to the Finns for, um, uh, for mistaking your country. Thank you very much.